Hey guys, Drewski here, and today we're going to look at Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb is a new game that came out probably a month ago. It's free to play. Um, you can also do microtransactions and such, but it's not overpowering microtransactions, which is a good thing. Uh, it's in open beta currently, so there are some problems with it. I had some graphical glitches, which I can tell are just because it's a beta. It's an open beta, so it's not going to be you know, a perfect review right now. This is a review of the beta, so make sure that you understand this is the beta. Um, things that I might be critiquing might be totally changed in the final game, which is going to be coming out in a few months, I would guess. Um, and so my my review might not be you know valid in a few months, but this game this game is actually really really fun. I actually thought it was going to be you know some dumb Team Fortress game, but I started watching reviews for it, started watching trailers, and I got interested. Um, I just saw the gameplay and I thought that that would be pretty fun to try out, and so I did try it out. And um, the game is really really fun. It's an objective based, so it's not just team deathmatch. It's not just mindless shooting. Uh, it's very very fast paced as well. So objective based, fast paced rhymes. Um, it, it's that type of shooter that is a lot like Team Fortress. There are classes for every you know player on your team. You can choose which class you want. Uh, you, as you build up experience, you get more money to unlock even more classes, which allow you to do you know different things than you could when you started the game and only had three classes unlocked. Um, the game is just overall really, really smooth and clean. I get extremely high FPS when I'm playing the game, and I'm running it on max settings. Yes, I do have a pretty powerful computer, but a lot of games like this, even if it's not that many players, for example, most the most players you can get currently are 8 versus 8. Even if it's not that many players, it still runs as good as, you know, really, really old games did for me. Like, it runs better than most first-person shooters. Insurgency runs worse than this game, and this game actually looks a lot better, too. Um, and Insurgency also runs on the Source Engine, so that's how smooth it is, because it's a Source Engine game. Source Engine games run perfectly fine on any computer. Um, so, this game runs extremely smooth, and the graphics are actually really, really nice. Like, I, I never was, um, at a moment, kind of disappointed by a bad-looking thing. The art design is great. Everything is designed well. The only things with low textures are just because it's in beta, and it's not going to be the full download of the game yet. I think the game is like 4 or 5 gigabytes right now. And the full game will be probably, I would guess, like 8 or 10 maybe. Um, but it, it's just like really, really nice to see all these very good graphics in a game that runs amazing. And, and the graphics, even if I put them on very low, are not bad at all. It's, it's actually just a very, very good looking game. The, the art design does most of it. The art design was very, very, you know, intelligent when they uh, created all the maps and stuff. Uh, it's just very, very well done is what I'm trying to say. The map design. No, no, I just said maps, that's why it brought me to map design. And the map design is really interesting. Um, it's it's a lot bigger than most competitive maps, which I really, really like, because it's not like DE Dust 2 on Counter-Strike, where it only has three lanes that you go through. There's left, there's mid, there's A long, you know. Um, this game has a lot of flanking routes. Like, there are a lot. And that's why I actually play as the scout, the little girl with the Russian helmet, which is a really weird character design, but it's funny and I like it. Um, you play as the little scout person, you can run extremely fast, like faster than you can uh, on the Team Fortress 2 scout. And it's it's like, I can just, you know, know where the battle is. I can hear where the gunshots are from a far distance. I can run on the opposite side of the map, flank all the way around. And this is what I do in most of my games. You see a lot of my gameplay tactics. I'm not near a teammate. I'm actually really, really far away from them because I try to flank. I try to get behind the enemy. And once I get behind the enemy, I can kill maybe two, maybe three of them before I get taken down. And, that's, and that will, you know, allow my team to make a push and break through their defensive line because I broke a few of their defensive uh, players. And so that was a really, really cool, like, tactical element that I thought, you know, if I were to play this game competitively in a clan, I'd love it. Like, there is no matchmaking at the moment, but if there was, you know, matchmaking where you could join your friends and it's going to be a competitive game. I can see a good community coming out of this game simply because it is a very competitive game and... It's built to be one of those competitive shooters. These shooters are coming out a lot more lately where they're the cartoony, um, you know, first-person shooter, third-person shooter, uh, class-based uh, games. And these games are really just mostly, they're kind of bland. Mostly they're just just like the others. But this one, in my opinion, was actually pretty nice and fresh. There are a lot of new things and a lot just different gameplay mechanics that I actually really enjoyed about this game. And I really suggest you go check it out. So, 
Um, that's my really, really short and simple and sweet review of this game. And if you want to go play this game, Dirty Bomb, it's on Steam for free currently. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, five bucks later on or something. I think it should continue to be free um, even after it launches because it is a little bit of um, a micro gen transaction type of game. But those micro transactions, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like be super, uh, I guess, I guess nice to them because they aren't that crazy you know it's to to get those microtransactions you do have to pay a little bit more money than just you know 50 cents or something and so a person with five bucks can't be a pro at the game they're gonna get one little case that isn't worth much so you have to spend a lot of money on this game for you to actually get a good benefit from those microtransactions so it's it's not a crazy effective micro transaction if you pay one dollar um, you just get a random number generator type of box thing like you do in Counter-Strike you unlock you know the chroma case Then it goes over a roulette table of all those items and you and you get an item But you can pick boxes that are uh, you know have a higher chance of getting rarer things But it's still random. It's still you can't just buy the greatest gun in the game directly head-on It's gonna be up to God to choose what gun you get. So if you want to play this game um, Go on Steam and try it out and I will uh, see you guys later